Now let us move towards the types of views we can get in X-ray. So there are four types of view. The first one is the posterior anterior. Then we have the anterior posterior. And then we have lateral view and the one lateral decapitus view. So what are these views individually? Let us go through it. So posterior anterior. So in case of posterior anterior, the film is on the anterior side and the source of X-ray is from behind. So X-rays are entering the body from posterior to anterior, so posterior anterior. This posterior and posterior anterior view is a preferred view in chest X-ray. That too which the person should be erect and inspiration. During the inspiration, the erect inspiration and PA view is a preferred view or most of the X-ray chest are taken in this view. So let us move towards the next. That is anterior posterior view. Here the film is behind the patient and X-ray are entering from the anterior side. So anterior posterior view. Then is our lateral view. What, is, what happens in lateral view? The source of X-ray is from one side, laterally from one side and the film is on other side, on the lateral, laterally only. So he, in this way you get two views or two sides. Those, that is right and the left one. So how are you going to say which one is right and which one is left? Whichever side the cassette is placed, that is the side of the X-ray. So if the X, if the screen is here, the film is here, it will be the left lateral X-ray. And if the screen is here, it will be the right lateral X-ray. Okay, so in this way you are going to decide the side. Now let us move towards the um, different view. Or let us see the somewhat different view in the X-ray, that is the lateral decapitus view. So what is done in the lateral decapitus view? Consider this as a patient. This white, this transparent is the anterior side and this black is the posterior side of the patient. So the patient, this is a standing patient, patient lies down on one of its side on the table. So suppose the patient is, this is a table, the patient is lying low like this. And on, from the posterior side, we get the film. So this is the film on which we are obtaining the X-ray. And the X-rays are coming from the front side and hitting the patient. And this the image is obtained on the screen. This is the lateral decapitus view. So what is the advantage of lateral decapitus view? This lateral decapitus tube is, ex, uh, is used in the diagnosis of fluid in plural cavity, plural effusion. Okay. And it can diagnose as low as 10 ml of fluid in pleural cavity. When you are the person is sitting erect and you are trying to diagnose the pleural diffusion, there will be blunting or obstruction of costophrenic angle. There will be the blocking of costophrenic angle, but the fluid will be as high as 150 to 1, 200 ml. So you are able to diagnose the pleural diffusion on 10 ml. So why not to do the lateral decapitus view? So we can appreciate here this part whitening and this is our fluid okay now why we are saying that the x-rays are taken on inspiration rather than expiration you can see here where there is very much blurring of cardiac shadow right but here here you can appreciate the cardiac shadow arch the claustrophrenic angle and uh, the ribs properly so the, for this is the reason why we are taking this in inspiration condition. Now let us move towards the exposure factor. So you have two types of exposure for factor. One is KVP, another is MAS. Okay, wait a minute. What I will do? I will reduce the size of this nib. Okay. So you have KVP and then we have MAS. So what does KVP stands for? KVP stands for kilovolt peak, and MAS stands for milliampere second. Okay. So let us see the characteristics which it, which this KVP and MAS affect. Whatever I am explaining, I am explaining it for the learning sake. So don't take it literal or any hazardous way. Just it's for what you say as a mnemonics. So you can learn it properly. So KVP, K stand for kill. So whenever you want to kill a patient, oh sorry, 
killer person. I'm so sorry for that. Whenever you want to kill a person, you want something which penetrates through and through. So this KVP determines the penetration. Okay. So on other way you can uh, learn it as here we have M. You must have seen a movie Men in Black, right? It is a very good movie. So this M, Men in Black. So this M A S determines the amount of blackening of the film. Whichever you way you want to learn, you can learn it. If M A S is blackening, determines the blackening. K V P will determine the penetration of B. So what happens? Higher the energy of the beam, higher will be the degree of penetration. So K V P. is directly proportional to the energy of beam so kvp is directly proportional to the energy of beam so higher the energy higher will be the penetration power it has no effect on blackening there will be equivalent blackening in whether the energy is low or whether the energy is high obviously energy is high penetration is high so it is directly proportional so kvp is directly proportional to the penetration it has no effect on mas okay now the number of photons per area see you are getting a shadowing in kvp or the penetration is whenever it will penetrate it will cause activation and it will cause the whitening of silver bromide but blackening the amount of blackening or degree of blackening depends on how much time is the photons or what is the number of photons per area more the photons striking at a particular place more will be the blackening okay so number of photons is directly proportional to the ms now background blackening what do you mean by background blackening and how it affects ms ms we are going to see just keep it background blackening is directly proportional to the ms now let us move towards this image okay so this is our source of x ray this source of x ray is hitting on the patient so what happens whenever a source hits a patient or hits a particular area you get image and this image you can divide it into two parts one which is produced by x ray penetrating the patient so you have a okay so you have a and one which does not penetrate the patient just hits just go beside the patient and causes the blackening of film so this is b okay so let us take the area a how will you get the imaging on area a it depends the imaging on the area a depends on the degree or the number of penetration of x ray so here it is determined by kvp because it is affect it affects degree of penetration right higher the degree of penetration higher will be the imaging then we have area b here there is no body part or no patient present for the penetration it's just that how many photons or how many photons strikes the sheet which causes its blackening so it depends on mas okay because it is degree of blackening okay so this b part on the film is our sorry we'll do it separately so this b part is our background right okay so whenever you obtain a contrast you want to take a proper sorry whenever you want to good image good contrasting and there should be proper high, whitening and blackening degrees of whitening and blackening so what you are going to do if you want a proper imaging on part a you want to increase the kvp right in so by increasing the kvp get a greater photons or greater x ray will cross and then you get the proper whitening but if you let so many x, uh, x rays to pass it you have two options either um, first of all there will be increase in the exposure to, of the patient to the x ray and there will be extra whitening abnormal whitening so you have a limit to increase the kvp right so is the case with mas if you if you increase the mas too high there will be good whitening good blackening but if you keep it low there will be less whitening so what happens is that contrast is inversely proportional to the kvp and it is directly proportional to the mas so to get a proper contrast you have to 
increase the KVP, you have to increase the MS. 